you can see clearly how we get leakage from body of cast brass flanges during pneumatic testing after we use the flange with pipeline. These are sand molds used for casting brass flanges. Before casting, sand molds are painted using flammable painting and burnt to keep the molds warm and to remove moisture. Brass is melted in this type of electric induction furnace and then molten brass is poured on the sand molds for casting. After casting, we get this type of cast body with riser. Then the riser is cut and casting is machined and drilled to get final brass flanges like this. Then 5-6 brass flanges are pneumatically tested together using rubber gasket in between and blind flange on both sides. As per code, carbon steel and stainless steel flanges are not required to be tested, but cast brass flanges must be tested to check the porosity or pin hole in the flange body, which can be there due to casting defects.
Now the entire assembly of these flanges will be pneumatically tested to detect whether any leakage is there through any flange. During testing using soap water, it is found that air bubbles are coming out from 2-3 flanges. That means there is leakage through these 2-3 flanges. So we should always use tested cast brass flanges. If we use untested cast brass flanges on pipeline, then we get this type of leakage during pneumatic testing. Now you can see the leakage through cast brass flange after using on the pipeline.